let us look now at the roadmap of measurement uncertainty estimation using the Northwest approach. So, I have collected all the formulas and calculations into this slide, and we can now briefly go through them to get the big overview, because otherwise it can be difficult to follow all these calculations and things. So, we start by finding bias. So, each individual bias value is found by numerous laboratory measurement results from which the reference value has been subtracted. And then these are averaged into the RMS bias. Secondly, from either from the certificates or from interlaboratory comparison data, we find the uncertainties of those reference values. And these are in turn averaged into the UC ref using again this root mean square approach. Now, RMS bias and UC ref are combined into the overall possible bias estimate. And then, separately, we look at uncertainty due to random effects, where we carry out determination of long-term within laboratory standard deviation by using a control sample or several control samples, if necessary, that we analyze over a long time period, several months or preferably one year. And when we found this URW, and when we have U bias, then these two we can eventually combine into the combined standard uncertainty of the result. Not too difficult.